Look at my lay count progression versus Coach Kyle's. Okay, look at the gap. Okay, that's called breadth and depth of experience and skill. I get clients that are three or four X his lifetime lay count that still have a lot of work to do and I still plug a lot of their fucking problems and, and fix their different issues that they have in the game. So, you know, he he has a long way to go. He's still relatively uh, wet behind the ears, uh, very green, fresh on the scene, if you know what I mean. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. What up Coach Kyle, if you happen to watch this. Uh, you got a long way to go, bud, okay? Unfortunately, uh, you know, people don't understand that there's a lot of breadth and depth of experience required to achieve mastery in this game, okay? I mean, a separate video going over how Coach Kyle admitted to me personally how he's only been with 120 girls, okay, which I hit back in mid-2012. Okay, so we're coming up on literally a decade ago that I was at that level of experience. And guys say, well, you know, he's already banged 100 girls, so isn't that good enough to coach? The answer is no. Okay, in today's video, we're going to go over an infield breakdown where I go over technical problems with his game. But 100 is not a big deal anymore. It was a big deal when I did it 10 years ago. But... You know, that's, it's kind of like basic level competence if you're going to even call yourself advanced. Okay, but I get students that come to me at 300 lay count or even beyond, okay, that still have a lot of work to do on their own game and they're already far beyond, you know, Coach Kyle. Okay, to exacerbate matters further, Kyle last year paid Max Tornov, who's a very blatant scammer, a known scammer who I've shown in other videos, he just copied the whole model of the Balling brothers, who are German and who had criminal charges brought on them for that. Max Tornov copied that whole thing. He thinks he's he's safe doing business out of Cyprus and, and this and that, okay? He's hiring girls, or he was, in Ukraine, promising them a better life in Germany or Austria or some shit like that, and paying them to be part of his little lifestyle shoots. In reality, he's just a huge fucking video game nerd. Anyways, without digressing, Coach Kyle paid Max Tornov to learn the, the tricks of the trade in order to make more money and rip off more people. Okay, He also paid RST Madison for a boot camp with some big sum like 15K or something like that last year in 2021. Okay, This is your the guy that you're going to that's, supposed, that's running around claiming to be an expert. Okay, He's far from it. That's, you know, he seems like a nice guy. And this isn't me hating or anything like that. This is just, this guy's like, you know, kind of an up and comer potentially, has not proven himself yet. He's, like I said, still has a very long way to go. Uh, he's at the lay count that I hit, a, uh, almost said 100 years ago. 10 years ago, the 100 lay count mark. And <laughs> there's a lot that comes after that. When I hit 1,000 girls in December 2018, that's really when I started perfecting my texting and all that stuff. And there was endless amounts of data in iteration and evolution behind those things okay so uh no kyle is not ready to be a coach and it, it, why is he paying max tornov and, and um rsd madison for training okay it's disgraceful it's a joke and from lots of personal reports from guys that have hung out with him in person they said his game was god awful he didn't fucking pull on the madison program and this and that and i have a whole bunch of screenshots and voice notes I'll put up the thumbnail to that other video and we'll put it in the end screen so you guys can go take a look at that stuff after if you're interested. Okay, uh, with the limited daylight that I do have left here, I wanna jump into this infield breakdown. But before we get into that, if you're looking to get a dream pa uh, full package girlfriend, if you're looking to build up a dream rotation, if you're looking to have your schedule packed full of dates and just have a conveyor belt of hookups coming through, you want to book a free 30 minute call. Okay, you can see in the corner here, PlatinumDatingSystem.com, but there's also the first link in the description and in the pinned comment. You can go and set up a 30 minute call and we'll go over how we can get you your goal, to your goals this month. Okay? Not in a bunch of months, not in some years, not after you've paid me a whole bunch of separate times. 
I'm in the business here to fix these problems as permanently as possible and as quickly as possible. So do not hesitate. Get on one of those free 30 minute calls with the link in the description. Also, please subscribe below if you have not already and press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every day. Okay, so here we go. Let's jump into uh, this Coach Kyle infield breakdown. Hello. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just saw you standing here like looking very elegant with the sunset in the background and I just had to say what's up. Okay, all the, the openers of like, I just saw you there and uh, you looked very attractive and all this stuff are pretty fucking dumb. And he furthers that by cringing it out. Oh, you looked very elegant in the sun. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sounds like Todd V so far. Let's, I haven't watched this yet. Let's continue here. How you doing? I'm all right. I was actually like walking down to the, that, in that direction, but. So it's the girls holding eye contact while he's looking down the street. And <laughs> she's not even looking at him, but okay. I was actually walking uh, that direction. Oh, I'm sorry, the sun's like really in my eyes. Um, yeah, I was just walking down that way and you caught my eye, so I was like, I gotta at least say what's up. You caught my eye, so I gotta say what's up. Okay. Nice. Do you go to school to NYU? I do not. I graduated. So he's like near NYU campus or whatever. And she's like, do you go to NYU? Why, do I look like a student? Not necessarily showing interest. The girl's just fucking making small talk. Kind of her body language with the arms folded a little, looks a little closed off so far. Kind of. Are you a student? No. Did you graduate? Yes. Oh, okay. She's not a student either. Okay, very boring conversation so far. Ah, oh, you're very like. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Stoic. Stoic. Uh, I don't know. That's not even like in my vocab. Okay. <laughs> Now, I remember <laughs> in the Todd infield breakdown, Todd was like, oh, <laughs> when we fall madly in love and, uh, uh, and, and you, do you ever act like a woman? And now he's, okay, he's told that he just had to stop because she was radiant in the sunlight. Okay, now she says, oh, I look stoic. And then he's making a joke, I guess, how he's not that smart. Okay, let's hear more. Stoic. Nah, you're just like very relaxed. Yeah. It's like, like you're like just super calm. Where you're just like, you're like, you're like very uh, relaxed. And uh, I'm from Canada, and uh, I don't get any cell signal here. Listen, like when you hear Todd, when you hear Justin V, even even this shit, right? Like you want to be moving things forward. You want to be flirting and stuff like that. Not like, hey, uh, why are you just standing there uh, on the street? And the girl's like, uh, you talk to me, dude. What's going on? <laughs> and it's just like no, nothing's being progressed forward whatsoever um, this is not a good example of how to vibe okay you want to be cracking jokes you want to be leading things forward you want to be demonstrating value those are things you should be doing instead it's just kind of like this awkward thing and he's like okay you uh, you just you just like to stand there meditating or something <laughs> say she's meditating okay meditating or something hold on let's hear this again relaxed it's like, like you're like, just super calm. Were you just like meditating or something? Hey, uh, I saw you standing on the street and you're not really saying much after I had to stop you. Um, are you, do you happen to be meditating? Like, you guys need to get over this. Okay, yeah, like he lifts weights. Okay, yes, he got tattoos. I do those things too, but I broke a thousand before doing either one of those. Actually, I got one tattoo around. 800 or something like that, 800 something was my first tattoo, you know, regardless, yes, he looks like a, you know, potentially handsome guy, right, and, and he talks like he knows what he's talking about, but uh, people have gone through his stuff extensively and my stuff extensively, and they're like, yeah, his stuff, he just likes to talk about game, and he, you know, he sounds like he's teaching you stuff and all this, whereas my stuff is like cutthroat, strategic, tactical, step-by-step, -step, straightforward, etc., What's the strategy here so far? Okay, let's let's see how this unfolds. Well, I live in a philosophy of meditation, mindfulness meditation. You live in? What does that even mean? Well, it's just like you go about the day. Oh, active meditation. Right. Gotcha, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> now they're talking about meditation. 
because he was asking if she meditated. Again, you don't like these are just like cheesy reaching things. Like, of course, a girl's gonna be like, uh, "What's going on here?" When you talk to her on the street, the correct move is not to be like, "Hey, uh, what were you doing before I approached? Were you meditating on the sidewalk?" You just look like a retard. Right? And again, nothing's really being said here. What do you do? For what? For fun? <laughs> what do you do? For what? I should be meditating. I make videos on YouTube. Uh, I have 200,000 something subscribers, almost 300,000. And uh, I like to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Even though he's like literally my game a decade ago. I was just talking to, to some advanced friends about this. They're like, dude, you were way ahead of your time. Um, I was doing shit a decade ago that no one's even touching in the modern day. When I was at the 100 count range, 150 count range, I was doing all this stuff that had never been done. I was reporting on the forums. It was catching a lot of attention, etc. And it's, you know, it's, it's sad that a decade ago, my game was much stronger than these guys in 2022. Uh, Ten years later, you would think there'd be some serious contenders. Some people, you know, just like this guy because he's like a likable guy. So is Todd. Okay, well, let's pop up the, the thumbnail on my Todd infield breakdown. Yes, Todd seems nice. Yes, Todd is pseudo-technical. What are the facts? Todd has been with a girl that's objectively a six, okay, or below. She got between a four and a half and a six. Six is a generous rating. And uh, he, I caught him personally lying about his lay count the first day I met him. He told me one thing, and then he told the audience like a, a 3x factor because it sounded better. He's trying to be cool. He pushed RST scam trash for 10 years and later denounced it when he went out on his own. All right, I don't, you know, I could go on and on about these fucking guys, but again, just because a guy seems nice or seems technical or whatever doesn't mean he's good at game. Stating more honestly. Sorry, it's my friend. I'm meeting. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so the girl's getting a phone call. Hey, I have to be my friend. Tell you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the girl's got a phone call coming in. She's about to be meeting up with some friends in the park very soon, so I really don't have that much time. But I do want you to notice how she is making an attempt. <laughs> By the way, people told me that Kyle's like a big fan of mine and he likes my channel, so it's probably like his worst nightmare. But sorry, but uh, again, like don't fucking run around like you have all the answers and shit. And this dude's charging 10 grand for an eight week mentorship program. That's right, 10 grand. Okay, much more than mine. And he has one group call a week. One. I have four group calls a week that are two hours each. So you're getting eight hours of call time in my program. Okay, across four calls a week. 64 hours of call time across eight weeks for a fraction of the price of what he's charging. Okay, and, and his, again, his marketing has been better. That The tables are going to turn shortly on that okay we were catching up on the marketing front but that's the only reason he's able to charge more that's the only reason he's able to get way more subs that's the only reason why guys are much more interested in training with him is it because his system's better fuck no a resounding fuck no not even close it's two night and day different things okay we have a little theorist who's very inexperienced and just hit triple digits congratulations whereas i hit uh quadruple digits three and a half years ago okay He's got a long way to go, and you know he could maybe show you some basics, but this guy is not an expert by any means. Well, let's continue in the interest of, of getting through this breakdown here. The fucking sun's going down, too. To keep the interaction going by asking me questions and showing interest. After I approached <laughs> her, she said, oh, thank you. Are you a student? <laughs> okay. Just because a girl makes some like brief small talk, Probably because it was fucking awkward and shit, and you're and you're not and he wasn't really adding anything to the conversation. Hey, are you meditating? Uh, no. Uh, are you a student? Uh, you know, she's just like, why the fuck are you talking to me? Um, and you know, and and also there's better ways to deal with a phone call and stuff like that too. Now he's kind of lingering. His socks are pulled up. She didn't need to say <laughs> that. She typically the girl, if she's not interested, she's just gonna make break eye contact and be like, oh, okay, you know, thank you. But notice how right away she was like, oh, um, are, you, are you a student? There's plenty of girls that are not interested at all, that are just afraid, like they don't want to end the interaction for things to be awkward. They're just like humoring the guy. Like I can name endless uh, examples of this happening. Just because the girl asked him some innocuous dumb question 
does not mean she's interested. That's not an IOI. This is an incorrect explanation. She's she's curious. She's interested in me already. So no, she's not. Right? Like you could have any low value dude walk up on the street. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, are you selling something? Oh, are are you a student around here? Like they're just like wondering like what the fuck's going on. That's that's not an automatic IOI just because she asked you some like very basic, dumbed down questions. Oh. I don't really need to do too much. Once you, <laughs> the key, get her to ask if you're a student. He's like, oh hey, uh, you're in the uh, the bright light here. Uh, are you happy meditating? She's like, the fuck? She's like, are you uh, some little NYC or NYU student? And he's like, boom, it's over. He's like, I don't have to do very much because she asked if I'm a student. Uh, I'm gonna bang this chick for sure. And you know, <laughs> literally, he, he's done nothing. Okay, in the interaction. For those of you that don't understand how game works, he hasn't led anything forward. He hasn't flirted at all. He hasn't cemented any value. He's just basically acting confused in the interaction. Okay, and, and then teaching as his technical explanation that since she asked if he's a student, that she must be madly into him, madly in love, as Todd says. Hangs up the phone. I'm just gonna vibe a little bit, <laughs> and then I'm gonna start moving the interaction forward. I'm gonna start <laughs> figuring out when we could meet up again, and when our schedules align so we could meet up. So it's a quick. When can we see each other again? So we can do meditation stuff. Interaction. I'm not gonna be stopping the video. I just want you guys to watch this, and I'll throw some tips up on the screen throughout the interaction. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So <laughs> oh, this gets better. She's about to meet her friend in one minute, so I tell her that I need to leave. Again, this is this is why you don't go to a guy for 100 lay count for advice. This is so dumb. That this like, oh, she needs to go, so I need to pretend that I need to go. It's so there's so much fucking contrived gaminess here. Okay, that this is why he's needing to go to a fucking Poindexter like Madison for help. Okay, which I'm sure Madison did not push him in the right direction whatsoever because Madison's a huge fucking loser in his own right. Okay, let's pop up the, <laughs> the thumbnail where I go through Madison's retirement or he looked like a total jackass Talk, comparing himself to Michael Jordan and all this shit. He's like, if you ask anyone who's the best guy that ever did it in the game, they'll all say me. It's like, yeah, literally no one's ever said that. Okay. Yeah, so I actually got to get going and like... <laughs> oh, God. This is great. This is great. I'm glad I got a chance to, to watch this. Uh, hey there, like to recap, just some like weird out of place remarks. He seems like all scatterbrained and the chick's like, uh, are you a student around here? And he's like, done, I got her. And then when he finds out she has to leave, he's like, hey, I got to bounce. When can I see you? <laughs> like literally nothing. This would be a flaky number with high chance. Okay. It's like, Nothing's been done here. Nothing's been established. Minute, but um, sounds like you're busy anyway. But anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> he's acted like he's his brain's like fried on drugs. The entire interaction, he's like, uh, I uh, I like saw you here, and this is like before his tattoos. So like, he's probably not even at a hundred late count yet. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is like low level intermediate at best. Okay. The, the kind of shit he's doing just because he lifts weights or because he acts sure of himself when he's explaining what's going on doesn't mean shit about the <laughs> act of meditation oh yeah that, i forgot that to wrap up where we left off and he's like hey what were we talking about she's like meditation uh be, you know again has no relevance whatsoever on the conversation he just He's just like grasping at straws because he doesn't know what to talk about. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I should be meditating more, but I, I really don't do it. How old are you? Yes. I don't know. You said you graduated. What are you, 23? I hope you're older. No one ever guesses. I hope you're older because I'm, I'm like significantly older. How old are you? You're 27? No. 30? I just turned 29, actually. 29? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what does that mean? How old are you? Are you really? She's laughing and holding great eye contact. I feel the vibe increasing. Okay. I hope you're older. I hope you're older than 23 because I'm 29. Hmm. Great. Wow. Uh, again, like, where did, where is he getting this stuff from? Is, is this like fucking... This sounds like Todd stuff. I hope you're a woman. 
<laughs> I hope you act like women sometimes. Like a women, is what Todd said. And now Coach Kyle, are, are you 23? I hope you're older. I'm much older. 29. And the girl's like, oh. And he's like, I feel the vibe increasing. You look so mature for Yeah, life. Life was um, a unexpected route. So <laughs> Look at this fucking camera angle. It looks like a kaleidoscope. I want to exchange numbers and set up a future meetup before her friend comes in and we possibly could interrupt it. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Again, nothing's been established or accomplished here whatsoever. Yeah, sometimes pain. Was it pain? Or was it just like pain, unexpected? Pain and also just growing up alone. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you were like very independent then. Oh, that's what's up. Cool. Um. <laughs> She's like, I grew up alone. He's like, oh, that's what's up. <laughs> well, look, I gotta get going. I <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't think you guys can see this, but this is like pretty on par with Todd here. There's this, it's like wrapped up in like, a, he's like, in a, he's has a stronger physique than Todd and looks more manly than Todd. So that like wants you guys to make the leap that this is good game. It's not good game. Okay, if you take away the, the weightlifting from the, the presentation of this, the strat where's the strategy? There's Nothing's been sexualized. There's Nothing's been set up for later. Let's see how your number closes here. Okay, but I'd like to stay in touch. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, I can give you mine. Okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. Are you from this area or where are you from? <coughs> I used to live around Gramercy Park and then I moved down to Brooklyn, South Slope. Okay. Cool. I'm usually in this area. Are you, you come out here a lot or not really? Upper West Side. So I work in, I work in Columbus Circle. I know exactly where that is. Really? Yeah, that's like right south of Central Park, right? Yeah. Perfect. So it's, I love, I used to work as, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doing, wait, I don't, I don't know exactly what that entails. Perfection. Is this your number? Yeah, it's a New Jersey number. <laughs> so... Oh, what we, yeah, well, I was just about to ask you what your name was. I'm Kyle. Is that exactly how it sounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you just um, shoot me a text with your name? Yeah. So, hmm, so you work, that's where you live. Now, okay, I'll teach for a moment here. You should always try to frame exact plans. It's going to make it much stronger if she's already mentally committing to meet you at a later time. So I typically will say, do you like whatever the date activity is going to be? Do you like wine? Do you like margaritas? Do you like coffee? Okay. She usually says yes. If not, you pick something else. When are you free to get coffee? If it's a day game, usually you want to try to meet them that night. If they're not available that night, then the very next day. Okay. And you want to set it as soon as possible. You should not be getting a number and then not fucking framing a date with it. Okay. But that's what I was doing the same thing at a hundred count. That's the point. Okay, he hasn't evolved to know these things yet. He doesn't have enough ex experience yet. Okay, he hasn't ran tens of thousands of cold approaches yet. But that's where you work. That's where I work. And then I used to work in. Because I interned with them, and so they asked me to come work in full time. Interesting. Yeah. That's and good. I, I wow, you're like you're like a big girl already. That's good. Yeah. Good, because like. Now he's trying to qualify her. Oh, I like you. You're a big girl because you work a job. Good job. She, I probably, <laughs> she probably didn't know that you actually like her. You came and talked to her and said weird shit. I was like, like kind of <laughs> young, but like honestly, yeah. you look really mature and like you seem, I don't know, just very mature for your age. So old I could, soul. I could, no, I could. Old soul. Old soul, but youthful appearance. That's what I like right. too, you know. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I can see myself hanging out with you. You seem cool. Yeah. I like when um. When are you typically free? Well, I finish at the office. You like work nine to five, Monday through Friday? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm an artist, so it's just quite the an art artist. An artist, whoa, and okay. And I paint till 1 a.m., so. <laughs> and then you paint till 1 a.m.? Yeah. So you're only free at like 1 a.m.? I'm not a booty. Okay, so I will give him credit here that he is going over logistics of when she can meet. But he hasn't really established any kind of like sexual sexuality, any kind of flirtation. He hasn't demonstrated value of any kind. Okay, there's a lot of b big things lacking, huge holes here. Oh, okay, like... I sleep. Yeah. So we gotta make time on the weekend or something. Yeah, that's a fine time. Okay. 
maybe we could you go to the Highline? Do I go to the Highline? Yeah, you ever been over there or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. I used to live, I lived in the And you don't want to do dumb dates walking out. The High Line in New York City is just this fucking big, like, overpass thing that you can walk along. It's not a good date <laughs> idea whatsoever. You want to stick to coffee or drinks if you're going to do a public date or have the girl come straight to the house. Oh, okay. Like That's open. Years. I can see this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right, so then I'll be in touch. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, and you want to try to set exact fucking plans. So if she's like, oh, the weekend, I would be like, okay, do you prefer afternoon or evenings? And then try to set an exact time on Saturday or Sunday. It was a pleasure meeting you, okay? Likewise, have a great one. All right, take care. All right, guys, so that's pretty much <laughs> it. It was a short and sweet interaction. And a couple key points was that I opened very calm, chill, relaxed, and I kind of matched her vibe. And you could see that she responded very positively. And because of that, I didn't have to do too much. I pretty much just vibed with her for a little bit. And once I saw that she was interested as well, I just went for the meetup. <laughs> Again, he's, <laughs> he's basing her interest off of her just asking if he's a student and some other dumb, boring questions. And then once we exchanged numbers, I um, I just started discussing possible things we could do the next time we meet up and figuring out what our schedules are. And that's it. It, <laughs> it doesn't need to be crazy, long, 30-minute interaction with a date and all this game. Sometimes, sometimes it does take that, you know. Sometimes it can be very quick. It depends on the girl. It depends on the vibe. And just this interaction just goes to show you that when you do everything correctly, it can be very, <laughs> very smooth. And this interaction actually, it got to the point where she actually reached out to me and started texting me the next day. I didn't even initiate the, uh, the text combo. So just a quick little interaction to show you what's possible out there. Hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned, plenty more content coming soon. And as always, subscribe and like the- <laughs> Again, uh, not quite as bad as Todd, but missing a whole bunch of critical pieces and saying a lot of fucking dumb nonsense okay he's still in that mindset of like okay say weird shit and you know hope for the best so i'll go over more breakdowns this was a short one here um i want to encourage you guys if you are looking to master your cold approach master your texting master your online dating how you run your dates and close your dates and retain Get on a free 30 minute call. There's a link in the description. You'll click the first link in the top of the description or the top of the pinned comment. Set up a 30 minute call, uh, pick a slot on your calendar, and then you will speak to one of my coaches about how we can max out your results and get you a permanent solution in this within one to two months, typically in the first month, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all on a video soon. Let me know you think of all this in the comments. All you Coach Kyle fans, I'm sure there's a lot of them, unfortunately. And keep in mind, okay, I'll, I'll put up actually, um, and I'll, I'll make this the, the beginning part of the video. Look at my lay count progression versus Coach Kyle's, okay? Look at the gap, okay? That's called breadth and depth of experience and skill. I get clients that are three or four X his lifetime lay count that still have a lot of work to do and I still plug a lot of their fucking problems and, and fix their different issues that they have in the game. So, you know, he he has a long way to go. He's still relatively uh, wet behind the ears, uh, very green, fresh on the scene, if you know what I mean. So that's that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and I'll see you all in a video soon. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar Trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon